Welcome to this video and in this video I am going to show you how you can implement a switch in Xcode 8 or Swift 3.0. So this is great if you just want to give your user two options. Let's say, uh, do you want pizza? Yes or no. So I will show you how to implement a switch in this video. So in order for us to be able to implement the switch, I open Xcode and I just start a new project and I would encourage you to do the same thing. We're going to work with a single view application, click next and name the product, but project, whatever you want. I'm just going to call switch. Uh, just make sure that your language selection is Swift and then click next. Save it wherever you want to. I'm just going to make it full screen. And what we want our app to do is to display whether or not we want, we want pizza. So if we want pizza, uh, the app is going to say, yes, I want pizza. If we don't want pizza, it's going to say, no, I don't want pizza. So I'm just going to first drag in a label um, that's going to ask the user, do you want pizza? Okay. Just drag that in there. Then I'm going to drag in the switch, of course. Let's see, switch, there we go. Here we have our switch and I'm just going to copy this label and I'm going to write, yes. Let's see, yes, I want pizza. Okay, so because the switch is now on, so the user wants pizza and when we switch it, it's going to display, no, I don't want pizza. So now we have the user interface in place and now we're going to head over to the code. Just click this button right here. And we're just going to drag in two elements. So the first one is going to be the label that's going to display our output. I'm just going to call the label output and we will drag in the switch and just make sure that you have selected action. Because we're now putting a listener on the objects that um, says, hey, um, I'm being switched every time the user clicks that switch. So that's basically what we're doing right now. We're placing a listener on the switch. And I'm going to call it for, I'm going to call it switch. It's going to be an action and make sure that it's set to a UI switch. Then we're going to do the fun stuff, okay? So now we're going to see if um, the sender, the switch uh, dot uh, is on is equal to true. So that's the way it is right now. Then we want to display the text that we have right now. So it's going to be output dot text is equal to yes, I want pizza exclamation mark. And if we change that, which means the user has changed it to off, which means sender dot is on is equal to true. The output text is going to be no, I don't want pizza. Okay, so what we're basically doing here is setting yes, I want pizza, uh, the text label equal to yes, I want pizza if it's green, if is on is equal to true and if the user switches and is on is equal to false then we're going to display no I don't want pizza. So let's run this application and see if everything is going as smoothly as we want it to. Okay so here is our application and uh, let's see let's try to switch it off. No I don't want pizza. Yes, I want pizza. No, I don't want pizza. As you can see, the label isn't wide enough in order to display all the text. So we could just drag it a bit wider and center, center the text in order to be able to display the whole text. But you get the point. You now know how to implement a slider. You could also store the value of the slider in a variable if you want to do that. But as you can see, you now get the main point of a, of a switch. You just check which state it is in. And then according to that, you just change a variable or change an output or whatever you want to do. But now you know how to implement it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you click the subscribe button 
And if you do so, I will see you back in the next video. Thank you for watching.